Newcomers High School in Long Island City, Queens, one of several family welcome centers scattered across the city. Thousands of families, new migrants, and longtime New Yorkers alike attempted to get their children registered for class Thursday on the first day of school, only to be turned away for a future appointment. I live right here. So why is somebody that lives within the school zone, we're having so much trouble with getting our children in school? Leola says that's exactly what she experienced early Thursday morning at the Morningside Welcome Center in Harlem. You would see a lot of immigrants. Yes, you would. We go to the school, they tell me, oh, well, there's no more space here. I have to come back tomorrow because it's full. How do you feel about that? A little upset, but what can I do? School shuffling isn't the only pressing issue as the city prepares to absorb some 19,000 mostly Spanish-speaking migrant children. We're activating a special group of teachers who already work in our schools. City Schools Chancellor David Banks announcing Thursday a policy change which allows teachers armed with language certifications to switch into an English as a new language role without losing their tenure. That is a very, very, very big deal. Additionally, Department of Education officials say for this school year, they've so far hired 188 new ENL teachers, 175 new bilingual teachers, and there are 260 new candidates in the pipeline. And so in the first 10 days of the school year, every school is required to test and assess their non-English speaking students. That's to determine their grade and their language proficiency. Now, if at least 15 kids at a school, if it's determined that they require ENL instruction, that makes the school eligible to add a new teacher to its roster. Keep in mind, we're talking about some 20,000 new migrant students in the system. It's a clear indication as well that this new recruiting pipeline is going to be especially important during this school year. We're live in Long Island City, Queens this evening. Jay Dow, PIX11 News.